Hi guys, welcome back to Glitterhead Dental Diaries. I am Alicia and it is a thunderstorming rainy Sunday evening. It's actually kind of late and it's actually an unusual type of day or um, video, I guess you would say. This is not a dental update video, but I wanted to get on and just let you guys know that we are doing great. My family and I, well, I don't know if you'd say great. We're doing good because we're all healthy, we're all safe, we're all home together. And I just didn't want anyone to be worrying about us um, since I haven't been putting out as many videos, you know, um, mostly due to the circumstances that we've all been going through. So we've been pretty much quarantining ourselves for the past two and a half weeks and the children haven't seen anybody outside of just their parents um, in like actual physical contact in a couple of weeks also. And it looks like this is going to be continuing for at least the next month. We're all gonna be having to be staying home and isolated or quarantined. We don't have symptoms, but we live in New York State and the governor has put in place pretty much a stay in place order if you're a non-essential employee. So basically we can leave to go get groceries, but they encourage you to stay home for as long as you can and try to get as much as you can, like groceries for up to two weeks at a time. So we're doing the best we can with that, as is everybody else. I just wanted to get on and let you guys know that we're all right and we're healthy. My parents are healthy. Josh's parents are healthy. Um, we can't go see them because we don't want to be possibly carrying any viral germs. So we're keeping our distance from everybody. And I'll be honest with you, this week, last week, when this started crashing down, um, honestly, I started keeping my kids home before they closed the schools because I started seeing what was going on and I started getting concerned and we decided to start keeping them home because we knew which way this was going. I knew they were going to close the schools. I didn't want to keep sending them if they already thought it was that urgent to need to close immediately. So we kept them home and went to pick up their schoolwork. Teachers all had to go race and get bunches of homework all put together for all their students and we went and picked that all up. And so we've been working on making our homeschool classroom at home for four kids, all different grade levels. My kids are five, seven, 11, and 13. So a kindergartner, a first grade special needs, fifth grade and seventh grade. So we've been doing all right. The kids actually look forward to school. I think what they miss the most is like the structure, the routine, their friends, their teachers. And it's really hard to know what to say to kids, especially during a situation like this when you need to be honest with them and explain what's happening because there's such big changes going on. But also because I don't wanna freak my kids out. I don't wanna freak myself out. This has been, there's been life changing things happening to so many people around us. It's just, this problem is so much bigger than any one of us. And I like to consider myself an empath. So when things like this happen, I am generally the kind of person that likes to see the positives. And when something catastrophic happens like this, it is so hard for me to gather up any amount of happiness to share with anyone else because I'm so broken hearted. Like I was just so crushed and upset for the past, you know, like last week, I've been coming out of it and coming like, I have my dark days and my dark times. This does relate a little bit to emotions that I have talked about on this channel, but um, you know, it just depends what, what kind of person you are. When I have my darker days, depressing days, I kind of curl up into a ball and I just try to process them myself. Like I don't want to spread negativity and I don't want to tell people like dark thoughts that might be triggering or upsetting to them. So I kind of internalize it. But I always know that I'm going to come out of it, like that I'm just going through it and feeling it and that it's okay to feel like that. It's okay to have days like that. We know they're not going to last forever. Nothing lasts forever. And this, what we're going through right now, will not last forever. So I do just hope that I can give you some hope. I, I don't know. I, we're all in such different circumstances and situations. But if you would like to leave in the comments where you are from, where you're living, and what your situation is currently like, and like a little daily glimpse into your life, like what do you do every day now that life has changed? I think it's very interesting. And if I wasn't so anxious and stressed out, I feel like I'd be able to put together videos showing you guys how we set up the room and the classroom for my kids. And um, it's just hard to get all that together. And sometimes you feel like you're failing because you just can't get everything done. You can't do everything how you want to do it. And like right now, under the circumstances, I feel like just keeping your kids safe, happy and healthy and loved. That's it. You're doing your best. That's as good as that's it. Like that's good enough. You know, um, they'll get school. They'll get caught up in school. If we get behind, it's going to be okay. I mean, I don't want my kids to look back at this time and like have bad memories of it. I don't want them to remember it as being a good thing, but I also want them to have 
I do want it to be good memories for the kids. Like, you remember that time we were home and we couldn't leave and we had to stay away from everybody? Yeah, we had, we built forts and we read so many books and played games and we just had so much fun and we did homeschool. Like, you know, I want the kids themselves to remember it and have good memories of it. And even me and my husband, it's hard when things are like financially stressed because, you know, everything's just crashed down on this economy and everybody's jobs and lives and everything. Thankfully, my husband has been able to still work because he works in the automotive industry and they haven't been shut down. So he's able to still work. Um, and that is a good thing. That's definitely a blessing. Uh, and I forget where I was going with that. What was I going to say? I'm losing my train of thought, you guys. But um, we've been lucky that he's able to still go to work. But I think it's just important for us to try to try to create this is what I always say, like with any situation, dental or otherwise, even just what we're going through in life, all you can really do is work on improving your situation. And that's all we can do. So if we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, then all we have is today. We don't know what's going to happen next week. All we have is this week. All we can do is make our day and our life right now where we're at better in some kind of way. So I'm trying to apply that philosophy to what we're going through with all these life-changing events happening in the world and with all this um, uncertainty and stress and anxiousness and just sadness. Um, I'm just reminding myself that we do have some power over our immediate environment <laughs> and there are things we can work on that we probably should be working on. One of which is all my online thing because I consider my job to be on social media and on line you know like I do these videos I do other videos and I'm on other apps um but for a minute like I felt like well I can't help anybody so what should I you know I didn't want to make videos just with like meaningless content but then after you know this keeps going on and stuff and I started to realize people need somebody to remind them to smile sometimes you just need a distraction so I'm not going to make tons of videos talking about politics or religion or anything kind of like too controversial but if anything I would like to just be able to be a distraction while we're all going through this I get my therapy doing my makeup and my before and afters and other people like to watch people do their makeup and stuff so we can all just chill and vibe and help encourage each other be there for each other do whatever you can I think it's just so ironic that I used to sit in my room and have a blast just sit and do my makeup I get dressed up just for no reason just because because I wasn't going anywhere. It was just fun. And I loved it. And I would take my pictures. And now it's like we can't leave. And it feels different. And it just feels... Everything feels different. I'm sure you guys can relate. But I don't want to be all doom and gloom today. I had... Last week I wanted to make videos. Update you guys. Let you know how I'm doing. But I was honestly so upset and distraught over everything. That I couldn't get my thoughts together long enough to talk without crying. So... Here I am now to let you guys know I'm doing well. My family's doing well. We do, I plan to continue making videos and updating you on anything that I can, dental related. I don't know how things are gonna change with the office. Um, I do know I got a message saying to please postpone any appointments that you have set up that are not essential. So like my my implant cleaning I haven't had done, so I'm, I'm gonna postpone that. I also had an appointment to check on one of my these implants with um, the other doctor there. I'm going to put that off. <clears throat> Nothing's really wrong, but um, we had already been talking about a possible revision. So I was going to go back in to revisit that topic and tell him my thoughts and where I'm at now. That's a video I've been meaning to make along with the video about my migraines. And I'm supposed to get my, my migraine shots um, or my Botox shots, Botox for migraines. I'm supposed to get those in about two and a half to three weeks and I am kind of concerned because my neurologist quit the practice and they called and said I have to have them done with a different doctor but they don't know why my doctor left in the midst of all this COVID-19 and this is in the city of Buffalo which has quite a few cases now and at the moment they haven't rescheduled my appointment it's still considered essential but I'm a little nervous if I can't get my shots I was really stressing out about that because I get 20 plus migraines a month without those shots and I consider them highly essential. So, you know, I'm trying not to freak myself up out. You don't want to work yourself up and get stressed out about things that haven't happened yet. But I, I know you guys are going through a lot. I know we all are going through so much. We can help each other even just through this um, outlet right here. Leave your comments down below. How has your life changed? What is a day like now versus what it was? Talk to each other. Make some friends, you know, see where people are from and where people are living. 
and let me know how bad it is where you're from if you've known people or if you're if your families are suffering with this anybody that needs prayers leave it down below all we can really do is reach out try to help each other to get through this and i have this platform may not be a huge platform but i do have a platform and we can use it for a good thing even if it's just for distraction even if it's just for mukbang videos or me talking or something i need to get back on and get a good routine I've been trying to find a way that it would work. Now that we're doing school at home and the kids are home, it's harder for me to find the time to um, put aside for, you know, my work and stuff that I'm trying to do. So we're going to try to make certain days, like my days, when Josh will get home from work, we'll switch off. And then he'll switch with me and have the kids. I'll come in my room and do a video or do what I'm going to do. So I'm thinking maybe Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then Saturday or Sunday. But that would give me three days of the week to be working on my videos, makeup, anything else, because I've been seriously neglecting a lot of things. But aren't we all? <clears throat> I just wanted to say I'm thinking of you guys. I haven't forgotten it. I'm really sorry for everybody that's going through not being able to get things fixed right now because of the situation. My prayers are with you. I'm sending you all my good energy. And I'm just hoping that there will be a solution somehow. Like, I'm hoping that they're going to make it somewhere so it's like separate so you have dentist offices to treat people that might be sick versus dentist offices that will treat everybody like hopefully within the next few weeks we're going to see some kind of improvement either in how they're testing or with people being able to go back to work when they're recovered i hope that will make a big change and things will get better so that it's more accessible to get the help we need because right now i'm sure there's a lot of people that are not able to do things that they have been waiting to do and i cannot imagine how you're feeling that has to be really scary and it's it was very unexpected no one's expected this to happen um you know at a loss for words but i also feel like there's a lot of um you know there's a lot of news out there i so if you want to know like if you're interested in all the news and current events there's plenty of stuff to watch about that i figured you know there's room for some distraction so i'll be trying to bring some distraction your way and just as much support as I can possibly bring. I will try to keep up with my Monday motivations too because I got a little off track with that, but that was actually really nice and helpful for me just because it's always a good reminder to keep a different perspective on something and look at something maybe a different way that you never really knew you would. But anyways, that's about it. Just checking in with you guys. Let me know how you're all doing. I hope everyone's doing well. You'll be in my prayers. Please write back in the comments. I'll be writing back to everybody down there. I like getting to know you and I, I've been following quite a few of your stories. Um, I will also leave my emails in the description. If you want to send me a private message or pictures, send it to my glitterheaddental at gmail.com. Send me that to that email and I'll be able to respond to you privately there. Other than that, please subscribe if you are new, turn your notifications on, and come back so you can see me in my next video. But that's all. I hope you have a good night. Thank you for watching. Bye.